Welcome to the Suerte del Molino Farm, Arroche, Huelva Province, State of Andalusia, in the Kingdom of Spain. Here we marvel in the period after some rain. Everything is green and wet. And actually the weather is warm, 23 plus degrees during the day, 10 at night, Celsius, which is great. A few observations. My eyes are opening for some interesting things. I have this swale and berm. Our swales are always filled with organic material to try to cut down on evaporation. Other people disagree, but uh, this is how we do it. On this berm, uh, there were some uh, of these holm oaks, and I managed to, with this excavator, just to place some dirt in front of it, higher than it. And uh, as I was pruning here, I realized a few things. A lot of new growth. But I've only realized this where the home oaks are on the berm or next to the swale. So it appears that they are quite happy with the conditions, there's more water for them, and they grow actually well. I ask myself if um, this is the time to prune the homoaks, the anthenas. Every expert tells me yes. Um, this is actually where they are growing. Maybe one should prune them in the middle of summer, in July, where they are stunted and paused, traumatized. I don't know. Here in the moss on the tree, we have what they call here the belly button of the goddess Venus. I have not seen the goddess Venus. I must have a look. Maybe this is something. Anyway, beautiful. Another thing that my eyes opened for was, uh, for instance, here. All these rocks we have rolled in here, uh, they actually came from there and up there. So uh, with a lot of ua ah and uh, poles and levers, we uh, managed to get them here. So the level of this creek has raised here specifically by a meter and they're 50 centimeters, half a meter. So I'm just happy to learn that uh, some things happen and actually they happen quite quickly. So place a amount of huge boulders in the creek. The water cannot wash this away. And uh, you collect a lot of sediment, which I like. Now, in the creek, I have not done anything to that bramble and the devil's rose there. I just realized that suddenly there is a 
collection of rocks there and uh, twice the water rushed down here and this is where the cistern of the Kanat is the Moorish infiltration system and uh, because it's in the ground I don't think it's good if any water runs from the top I will have to investigate but while I'm doing this I realize if I can in this spot do the same as over there tap into the creek with a pipe and I have a lot of support structures 35 meters of pipe below those big trees I can get a lot of water towards that part of the farm even to the garden around the house so let me assign the task to my mind to solve this while I sleep I don't have time in the day to think about these things I've got many others so mind do your job this is uh, another sluice gate there's one there I've got one around the house I picked up four of them here already and uh, I still don't know how and what but it will be good to tap into this get the water that way without contaminating this canut the cistern is um, 40 centimeters from full and the depth is two meters so uh, that's quite good here we are on bedrock and the canut system is here a wall was built here there the wall is washed away already I'm waiting for answers from people at the university doing research on these things actually they should come and have a look because for me to explain is uh, especially in Spanish is almost impossible because I don't even know what it is in English I have placed this structure here Gabion and uh, suddenly we have a lot of sediment on both sides suddenly because uh, I've seen this many times but I've never looked at it and I realize that it is possible to tame this wild creek by simple structures especially the beaver like structures this is just uh, wood brush and all the sediment collected behind it a few places we still have water in the creek not running with some puddles but uh, 10 days after the rain and uh, I'm very very surprised that it does happen and it might even be that water collects in this sand higher up and then release it over time we will ride this wild stallion one day when we have learned our lessons another gabion there where Fus is and uh, all the sand behind it and this amazing appearance of the sandbank this beach here 
with that little leaky weir and uh, before one could not get through here with a vehicle not even with a excavator and now it's all banked up so uh, we will use this wood here and we've built some form of more solid more permanent leaky weir maybe stones both sides of the wood structure we have cleared this tree this is a bush tree the wild olive so uh, give it another two years and uh, one will not be able to walk around it all these shoots from the bottom oh luna you are a pain in your own neck huh we have pruned many 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 trees and there are an amount that we cannot even count or fathom left to be pruned we are now in a, our stride we just prune the lower parts and uh, see what it produces the next few years beautiful goodbye from paradise